The sun rises over the Kerbal Space Center. 100 Kerbals begin their daily routine with the belief that this day will be like any other. 100 Kerbals are wrong. Because, unbeknownst to them, a terrifying threat hangs above the planet. Following the class system employed by the Kerbals to measure asteroids, where E is the largest ever sighted, this weighs in as a class X. Such a mass, in spite of its slow descent, will destroy the space center. Nothing the Kerbals could ever build has the potential to stop it. Operating under this premise, the Kerbals began to move as many resources and assets off the planet as they could. This would be the final endeavor of this scale in Kerbal history. This would be the last project. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to The Last Project, Episode Nought. We are going to be launching as many, 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 many things as possible off the surface of Kerbin to protect our resources and assets from the threat of an asteroid. So, what kind of things do we need to launch? Well, on my list, the first off is fuel, of course. Fuel being the resource that perhaps matters the most. What are we going to do, though? What are our future plans? I mean, sure, we can get fuel into orbit, we can get rovers into orbit, we can get habitation modules, landers, unique modules, all into orbit, but once it's there, is it just going to sit there? No. This is the last project, and in this series I'm going to attempt to colonize every single celestial body in our solar system without launching anything new from the ground. That's the premise. That's what we're going to be operating under. That is how this series is going to roll. I envision these are going to be 20 minute post-commentary episodes, uploaded once per week. Using only what we have put into orbit throughout the duration of this video, which is roughly a 5 minute summary of 20 hours work preparing all this. Of course, though each mission is going to take me about 20 minutes to commentate over and that's what you will see on YouTube, it's going to take several hours to do each one, or at least I imagine it will do. So, every evening from 8pm BST till 9pm BST on weekdays, I'm going to be live streaming the recording for each of these episodes. It's what I have been doing for quite a while now, it's my general formula for any long-form post-commentary series, but I've never really announced it well on YouTube, so here we go. For the first time, HRZ Gaming has a schedule. 8pm BST, which is the same as 7pm UTC, Universal Time. We're going to be streaming over at twitch.tv forward slash HOC Gaming. And with that, we can conclude pretty much all of our modules. You see the SSTO there from Space Tourism. One familiar module in the face of all these new designs. Yes, the SSTO, which I thought was probably going to be the best I could ever make, so why not just reuse it? But... The real, true, final module being launched into orbit, the very last thing that I do, are of course those 100 Kerbals that were so wrong at the beginning of this video. Mere minutes before the asteroid lands on the Space Center, these Kerbals launch themselves in a ginormous station and put themselves into a 150 km parking orbit. And with that, everything is off the surface of Kerbin. Ooh, yes. Yes, 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 the series can start. Starting next Friday, episode 1 will be uploaded, then 2, then 3, and so on. But before we end the video, let's just have a little recap. What exactly do we have in orbit? Well, we have a couple of fuel matrices, giving us a total of about 200,000 units of liquid fuel. That's fuel matrix 2 that we see right now. Moving on, we have Lander's atmospheric for Eve, Juna, Lathe, and so on. Lander's non-atmospheric for every other celestial body in our solar system. Rovers and RCS store for, well, isn't it self-evident? Transfer engines to actually get us to those planets and adapters for things that don't quite dock where we want them to. And unique modules, including the SSTO plane that we have, which is obviously going to take us to Lathe. Or, well, we'll use on lave in some form. And there we go. 
Thank you very much for watching this video, ladies and gentlemen. If you would like to watch the live version of these videos, you can head over to my Twitch channel, starting at 7pm UTC. And if you want to follow me on Twitter, you can do so at HOC Gamer for updates about live streams and general other chit chat. I hope this series is going to be successful, and I hope you will enjoy it.